Okay. Thank you, Mr. Dhruvaraj. You see, uh, let me start. Okay. I am Bob Rajan. Uh, actually, my hometown is Kannu, Muraplangar. And, you know, I am working in National Aerospace Laboratory, Bangalore. I was working uh, recently, means two years back, I took VR and uh, started my own consultancy in, uh, uh, you know, flow visualization field where, you know, uh, uh, aircraft is tested and, you know, wind is, uh, you know, uh, seen as an image uh, that uh, there is uh, some techniques called this clearance. And, uh, uh, well, no, I, I think I, uh, one of the expert uh, in uh, India itself in that area. And uh, same time I was interested in macro photography. Whenever I find a time, you know, uh, I spend a lot of time for, you know, macro photography, especially in the holidays, you know, five days working day and Saturday, Saturday, I generally involved a lot of uh, picturization in, <clears throat> in uh, macro photography, especially insects. And that, you know, whatever knowledge I gained in my activities, I just want to give it to the uh, you know, interesting people. And whatever best of my knowledge, I am going to part with to you right now. Okay, I will, we will talk about the macro photography first. See, what is macro, macro photography? We know that macro photography nothing but cross up images, which uh, the, the <clears throat> lens could, can go very close to the image. And uh, generally, we will call it as a macro photography up to one is to one ratio. The lens can uh, you know, enlarge one is to one ratio. That means actually sensor is receiving, see 10 mm is the subject and sensor is receiving 10 mm, which is called one is to one. And uh, those uh, type of photography generally called as a macro photography. And, uh, you know, this macro photography application came, you know, nearly uh, the uh, 19th century beginning because they need to take some medical photography and insect photography. Some of the photographer was interested to do such things and they experimented themselves, adding that because those period, you know, large format camera only was available. That would be that you cannot visualize through the lens. That means SLR was not available those period. TLR, twin lens, twin lens reflector only was available. And directly taking photograph was slightly tough. It's not slightly tough, it was really tough. Because the, when close-up image is taken, you will not be able to see that you know, viewfinder anything. Because there you may have to need some calculation. What is the viewing angle? What should be the viewing angle of, viewing angle of, viewing angle of for the, the, the uh, taking camera, uh, taking uh, camera lens? And the same viewing angle will be provided for the uh, TLR, to, you know, uh, this vision also. That means there will be an angle of incident variation, which has to be calculated and accordingly that has to be added. And it is slightly tough to take uh, those period uh, photographers for uh, you know, cross imaging. Still, uh, there are people uh, did a wonderful job. And you know, uh, that was a starting for the macro photography. Okay, uh, and ju just going to show you some image. This uh, map image is called a Tessar silk map. You know, when it comes out from pupa, you know, uh, you know that it, it will it will be not be in the full thing. The wing will be clear. Uh, you know, it will be in you know, in the pupa stage. It is such a long time. It was inside the pupa, and when it's come out from that that wing, try to open it. And when the, the sunlight comes to their body, slowly it will, that is sinking and all, it will straighten it and uh, you know, full, it will get it open. And slowly that color, color will be there when wind, this, uh, you know, slightly wind and including that, uh, you now sunlight reaches, they fully become uh, total colorful. And, you know, uh, uh, unfortunately, for two, you know one or two days, they generally get faded, especially in the silk month. The color will get it faded. This, uh, you know, fortunately for me, I think it is only one or two days uh, old, and it is very bright in color. I could shoot this image. I think it is something like uh, 
10 years minimum 10 years old image this another moth which see this once again this moth you know wingspan generally it will be 80 mm to 100 mm will be the wingspan that is the size of this moth and this is a very small moth which hardly 10 millimeter in size you know when i was rounding to searching some uh, some images i found uh, the moth is laying egg and you know it, it was just started and i waited hours to whether it nearly two hours it took completing the egg laying more than slightly more than two hours and i was uh, really interesting to see that you know there are plenty of eggs and you know you know it you know when they lay eggs what happened there is a gummy substance which is stuck to the leaf grass leaf and grass leaf also you know fine fibers will be there which will be easy to stack it and even the wind it will not come out it will stay permanently like and i stayed nearly more than two hours watching all this incident and uh, no some one or two short i because i don't want disturb that has to be continued to do it and one or two short as a record i kept it and uh, happened to be a good shot i, I felt it no and i counted see once everything over that you know this um, math also flew away then i counted i surprisingly see that it is more than 600 x this is something amazing you understand this is more than 600 x that small abdomen how it is taken care of i i was really wondering it okay we'll go for the next slide see what happened the with those period i told you the, the olden days it was a tlr large format camera taking see, each image each image they had to load one film uh, that sheet film and that has to be for because those period there is no you know uh, film which is there in the raw form only the cut sheet was uh, was available that if it is what is the size of the camera uh, you know uh, uh, image size whatever if it is quarter size or you know 10 by 10 8 by 10 so different different size of film was available that period it was really tough to photograph to build the cam and you know producing a good digital it is this by 1950s you know the invention of uh, uh, single lens reflex film camera came in the picture that was a big zoom for the uh, macro photography uh, actually what happens we don't know see generally i told you actually tlr camera is very difficult to find the subject uh, through the uh, camera it is very tough to see it only the calculation only work we don't know whether it is correctly composed whether it is correctly sharp image, if any variation in the variation will be seen in the result. All these problems were there in the period in the photographers. And once the single lens reflector film camera was found, it was really happy for most of the, you know, all, all, almost professional photographers. And when started doing a good job in the professional photographers, the amateurs also joined. They also start taking images and they also got a very good result and this implementation came uh, to find because those period macro lens was not available you know macro lens was not available they were using some additional fitting you know like extension tubes and close-up uh, uh, you know uh, glass close-up glass was kept in the in front of the lens and you know that way they were doing there was no macro lens those period but all this uh, you know single lens reflection uh, reflector film camera invention made another true macro lens dedicated macro lens uh, invent you know in invention which really made uh, you know photographers to go ahead with many many images and it that was the you know turning point for the macro photographer and you know today we can get a lot of uh, a lot of variety of digital cameras and lenses different types of lenses and its accessories there are plenty of things which really made a lot of stock photography in macro photography okay 
Now I am talking about this is a uh, no image, uh, the hover flight, hover uh, fly, uh, getting flight. It is uh, this is just like uh, no. I think his voice is uh, breaking. They are known as a power fly because they fly time maximum time they spend for hovering. The reason is actually they are hunting for their mate and they are hunting for their food. And this only the you know one of the insect can digest the pollen because they eat not only the nectar they eat pollen also. That is uh, uh, no uh, thing is uh, one of the insect have. No, few insects only can digest the pollen, but one of the insects, this is the one. This is uh, called, uh, you know, the net wing beetle. You know, this this is uh, almost uh, looking like, you know, uh, uh, Firefly, you may be seen. Firefly, that is, uh, you know, minamini, we generally say in Malayalam, and that uh, fly just looking like the, you know, uh, firefly, and their flight is, you know, fly, firefly. Their color generally will be dark in orange or red, and their body will be red, and the ultra, that is the cover cover in the end of the cover will be some black spot one black spot in the either side and you know because the, all these beetles generally their wings will be very fragile that is the reason there is a cover it is called ultra which will prevent but their flight is very low frequency flight very slowly only they will fly but they are very beautiful i will tell you you know even flight also looks very uh, Beautiful. I had a fly picture, but uh, it's not that very good for the presentation. That's the reason this I added. Uh, sir, like uh, there is a question about how uh, we get this plain background. Yeah, you see, uh, uh, it's a good question. You see, what happens? All this, you know, uh, insect, you know, generally it will be in the bushes, inside the bushes. Is it most of them are inside bush? But there are certain species they like you know sunlight directly hitting the, their body, okay, and and they try to come out from inside the bush when they are traveling. They try to come out inside the bush and take uh, you know open their wings and take uh, sun bath for some time. That means actually they are energy saving it. Okay, incidentally, same incident if you are looking to it. And this is very low angle of uh, uh, photography. You may have to, you know, uh, you know, sleep down the ground and look at the, uh, you know, uh, this is the sky background. Okay. This is our actually, you know, 100 times when you are shooting it, one or two times you will get a distance. It's not the all the time. You got the point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is, this is not, uh, you know, uh, no, made it itself. Okay, what happens when it is in the eye, our eye, eye level, when you are standing the eye level, the grass are, uh, you know, when, you know, even if you take it in the bush, you can find some of the grasses, you know, where leaves are uh, overcoming. Uh, and incidentally, if any insect comes in that place and sitting in it, it is very easy you to take the images. Such incident only. Okay. Okay. You, you got the point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whenever you are getting the, such a chance, you place it. And you cannot wait for such things. Whenever you are searching it, 100 times when you are searching it, is 101 times or second times you will get such things. That time you utilize it. Nothing more, uh, more than that. And another thing what you can do it. See, sometimes in this occasion, what I generally do it. You know, those things I thought I can, you know, those things that, uh, you know, when the production comes, you know, last moment I will speak all those things. What should be, you, other than camera, what you should carry with me. Okay. Some, uh, you know, correction when you are shooting it, some correction. Oh, okay. I will tell right now. What happened here? There are some leaves and some of the obstacles generally will be there in front of you. 
or it will be obstructing it. You had to plan that as soon as you see the image, you feel that it is good, you shoot first as a record. Then you wait for it. What is the change you can do that area? Sometimes some leaf will be protruding there and it will be blocking it. What to do? You have to carry certain accessories with you. That is mainly small scissor with you. And tweezer if you can. Uh, one uh, lengthy tweezer and thread. These are the general accessories I carry with me. The reason is actually, you know, if anything is obstruction, any part of uh, leaf, anything obstruction, uh, obstruction is there. I, without that wind, when wind is hitting, they will not be bothering about your movements. Slowly, whatever, you know, is giving the obstruction, you slowly cut and clear that area. Sometimes the number of uh, pieces will be there. Wait for it, another wind, trim that and stay there. Like that, number of times you do it because this is the patient issue. You should have enough patience to do that and take care of that. That is, I, you know, I cannot tell you what level of patience. It is extreme level of patience is needed for taking these types of images. Okay, that is somewhat my experience. If you have that with this and some modification, you can do a wonderful job. This is what my experience. You got the point. I think Dhruvraj, yeah, the, yeah. this explanation is sufficient, no? Yeah, yeah, that's that's sufficient, sir. Yeah, okay. we can go for it. Okay. Yeah, now there are uh, different types of uh, macro lens uh, is available in the market. There are short focus macro lens. Short focus macro lens, you know, uh, generally up to 55, 60 mm lens is called short focal macro lens. The short focus macro lens, the problem is you may have to go very close to the subject. In generally, these types of uh, lens will be used for the product photography and flowers, flower photography, product photography, and the, the small subject or object within your control. That means actually, if we see any angle, you can take it, if, which, which is within your control, you can go ahead with this lens and produce a masterpiece. It is not mean, I am not mean that you cannot go for the you know other object. You can definitely go for the other object, but these are the convenient area. Okay. Now I am to have another image, which is actually rob, robber fly. The robber fly, something different from all other insects, you know. And generally, they you can find, you know, uh, thick, uh, you know, grasslands, thick, uh, you know, uh, and the law of uh, uh, growing. That means it is maximum one one meter and below growing grassland, you can find them very much, but it should be open place and direct sunlight supposed to come. Uh, and they generally, you cannot find, you know, inside the bushes, they generally come out and stay somewhere. And generally they will be camouflaged with the situation and they generally watch for the other insect flying around and a suitable insect come nearby, they fly, fly and catch it. And they are very good hunter in flight. That is the character for them. What exactly they does it? See here, it's a beetle is a prey. You know, the when the uh, other insect, because they have everything, they, they don't have, they, even they catch uh, their own uh, variety. That means, you know, uh, hoverfly, robberfly itself, they will catch and they will eat. Because they don't have any other option. Whatever comes nearby, whatever comes to their hand, they will eat. They, they, I can speak, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The robber fly has uh, you know, typical character because they generally hide and you know uh, dry st stems and uh, you know uh, dry leaves. And uh, it's not mean that actually they will not be available in the green leaves. They will be available, but they will take rest or they hide in the uh, such area and they walk watch all the area, all the place, uh, whether any insect is flying, which is, uh, you know, uh, suitable for him, like, and uh, even the very f uh, flying, fast flying insect also, they have a capital of, uh, you know, uh, go behind it and catch it. And what they generally after catching, they do it. 
they you know they have a proboscis very sharp very sharp proboscis which like a needle which will get into the you know prey and the prey will be injected by the you know uh, uh, their uh, uh, no, saliva that is, uh, is called what is you know, uh, enzyme enzyme will be injected into their body what exactly enzyme does it Ex enzyme will react uh, the the flesh of the you know, prey and it becomes a liquid actually the first digestion will take place there itself and they will see that actually this insect the prey is not uh, giving any much problems and prey, prey is make sure that prey is dead generally one or two minutes time any prey will be dying it first they will paralyze and slowly they will all activities will come down and become zero then they make sure that uh, oh, it is a price that then slowly remove their uh, you know proboscis and comfortable place they will keep it and what i found is a strange thing they will, will not you see wherever they put uh, first for killing they will not be putting again the same place they will choose another place okay continue you know hello Sir, you can, you can, you can continue. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is what I noticed. Then, you uh, know, uh, I was thinking that why it is doing it? Uh, they can always, uh, you know, uh, take uh, uh, no, uh, their food in the same point. Why it is taking like? Then some science, science definitely will be involved in that. Otherwise, they will not do it. Because number of time I saw that it is changing the position and keeping it and, uh, you know, they are uh, start to sucking it. And this beetle, I think this, uh, I shot this picture, picture in, uh, in uh, 2002 in my house garden in hometown, Kannur. And uh, when it is left over, uh, this, uh, once their job is over, they suck the all uh, thing and uh, flew away. I collect this beetle and open very slowly with a sharp knife. And I, I surprised, nothing is there inside. Everything melted and it is being drank. Then my you know, searching was this actually, why they say one place they are pricking it and once they kill and they turn generally 180 degree and start sucking it. Why it should be done in that fashion? Then I understood, and you see, when we take a coconut with a straw, when we drink, you see, if it is open, we can drink easily. And once we close it everywhere, and you see, oh, all the area you close it, and you know, straw, leave only straw and close all the area. Even one drop of water you cannot get into your mouth. The reason, whatever the volume of water comes to your mouth, the same volume of air has to get into. That is the technique they are using. It. I surprised them because their existence, they are doing such uh, tricks and such scientifically. That's what uh, you know, think what exactly happening like. And this uh, is another uh, robot fly caught a uh, uh, you know, bee and honey bee. And they also having the same, you can find, they are generally take uh, in the neck itself. I don't know how, how they are able to do that. Most catch I see, and you know, they are you know, uh, pricking the neck first. Uh, I, I think that they know actually, that is the area, the insect will die very fast. It may be the reason. Because other area, well, they don't have a, like a nerve system, like other human, like, you know, and they have a limited nerve system. And that area, once they fix, immediately they will paralyze and die. Okay, that tricks they know. Uh, this, uh, you know, another uh, occasion I shot this image. This also I feel it, uh, uh, no, this from Bangalore only I shot it, where I was, uh, you know, staying nearby. And this both uh, when, uh, lens was, other, uh, this image was shot in, the, you know, 100 mm lens. Uh, uh, this uh, Nikon 105 mm lens, the ma manual focus lens, that is a very old variety of lens. And this is a autofocus lens, which uh, I shot 2010 beginning, 2010 beginning, this is almost 10 years uh, over this uh, image was shot. 
Now, I will talk about the intermediate uh, lens. See, intermediate lens become very popular after uh, you know, uh, uh, coming in the market. And most of the brand, most brand, most popular brand manufacturing these uh, lenses. And this become very pro uh, popular for professionals as well as uh, you know, amateurs. Because this using these lenses, they, they are able to produce a very good images in worldwide. And this become these lenses, especially 100 mm, 90 mm, 100 mm, 85 mm, and up to 135 mm is very much suitable for taking the image in the insect photography. And it is excellent image, you can produce it. This image you just see is a, is a spider, the Linus green spider, which is taking care of the, the egg pod. You just see how nicely, you know, that life is taking care of its the new generation. And the care which is given by the insect. Just see, see, the leaf is a band there. And the underneath, it has taken, uh, lay the egg. And given total guard, you just see, it is just guarding it. I really surprised to see, including that shape. And, uh, you know, uh, in fact, uh, I shot this image with, uh, see, wherever, what I want to tell you is, wherever you can shoot with the tripod or monopod support, use that. Whenever you are going, whenever, whenever you are going for, uh, you know, macro photography, carry with you at least to try a monopod with you. And where you can really apply, apply it. Because many times you may not have able to apply the tripod, but there are certain occasions you can get it. That occasion utilize it. The, the reason being the handheld shot and uh, you know, tripod shot, it make big, big difference, especially the sharpness. And there will not be any shake and very good image you may able to get it. The, for an example, see 10, Time if you are shooting the handheld, one time you are shooting with the tripod or monopod support, definitely that one time you whatever you shot, that will be the best in than the handheld shot. That is what my experience. And this uh, still I want to tell you is uh, this egg port generally the X up to 3000, you may have you know, wonder up to 3000, uh, you no, know, young one will come with this. And you know, that's what science says, because the endomology says, you know, there are certain variety of things, uh, sort of variety they can produce up to 3,000 young ones in one pod itself. But you surprise, the, all 3,000 is leaving to other, and their world will be covered by this spider. And you know, uh, what exactly happening? They eat each other. They, they many things they will be eat each other. Even when you know, there are certain insect yeah, eat uh, you know young ones. Finally, only few will be left out. In three thousand, even one percentage also will not be left out. And that one person only become finally become adult. And all other things will be killed by uh, someone, or they will eat each other. They will eat each other, or uh, you know other insect will be. Uh, you know, they, they become a prey for the other insect, including, including some of the small birds. This also, uh, you know, uh, shot in the same fashion. Actually, I almost uh, stood in the gro ground, actually. Uh, totally uh, slept in the ground and shot this image. It's very difficult to get, you know, uh, no, uh, take uh, in the way we want it. But if you try and try and try, definitely you will get whatever pressure you want. That's what my experience. And the composition, when you are doing the composition, it's very, very important for whatever macro, not only macro photography, entire photography, composition is very important. And handling the camera, see, camera should be actually vertical. You see, always when you are shooting it, your mind should have some vertical and horizontal line, guideline in your mind. That is very, very important. That means when you are standing, you are standing in a vertically. If any changes is there in the vertical stand, you will strain, your legs will strain, or your body will be straining anything. Same way that if any insect or anything is straining, that strain has to be shown. How do you will be shown? Whatever position of the camera in zero level, you see most of the tripod, professional tripod, you may be seen in the, the you know, uh, the spirit level. Why the spirit level is kept? 
security level why it is kept it is making a zero level that means whatever zero level possible through your hand you make sure that you are kept you are going to keep your camera in the zero level that means vertical lines and horizontal lines should meet each other that is what is very very important for five the whatever angle inset is there you tilt your camera in that angle and shoot it that there is not any value for that you got the point you got, whatever fashion it was there in the plan whatever fashion it was flying that fashion you have to take it which uh, you have now you, you, you have now reflect whatever angle that insect is there is not that whatever angle you shot it means whenever you are shooting any image not only the insect any image the the vertical uh, no, uh, horizontal line on the vertical line horizontal line and vertical line remain same any angle of incident is there the image or insect or flight that angle of incident you have to keep it the, the way you have uh, you know the if it is a flight picture if there is a tilt in the flight and you try to keep uh, that tilt in the exposure actually you are doing the wrong thing because the flight every wing will be changing in the some angle of attack the every wing position will be getting changed which you have to show okay this wing position is changed because of this angle of attack that is applied applicable for any living things when you are shooting image, including the portrait and here actually you know that you know this uh, you know insect especially spider called uh, universal predator and you know they eat everything whatever it comes to them and you know they have another quality actually they can eat even their uh, well, larger than their body size they you know they also does the same way whatever i spot to you about the you know robber fly they also inject the when you know, uh, enzyme to the body of the prey and the prey will be paralyzed or die and slowly they will be he will be you know the insect will be sucking the uh, you know uh, the digest juice because the first digestion takes place inside the body of uh, uh, prey itself and which will be easy to suck for them they make a hole and that hole there is a, there you can find two uh, you know thing here in this two which uh, they inject and this uh, tool is not the tool for sucking there is another tool to suck this juice in middle you can find that that will actually extend and it will wherever hole they made that area they will uh, keep it and try to suck from that that's what they generally do it because all this incident i watched and uh, no i didn't photograph because photography in time what happens we had to change some here and there and it will be disturbed i sat in the ground and seen all this incident that's the reason i can able to explain what exactly happening like okay now another type of lens is there which is uh, you know long lens a long macro lens long focus lens which is the advantage is actually you can stand away much away from the subject and shoot the image that means you can see this cannot be used for everywhere the reason is actually they are heavy and using handheld it is slightly tough it, it will be supported by the tripod or even man, man, handheld also because the distance is more getting a steady image will be very tough you may need the support of uh, monopod or tripod and this is suitable for shy micro macro object and they are producing they are going to produce a wonderful image in especially in you know, uh, this uh, insect photography and without disturbing them you can stay away in nearly 1 1 meter or, or even even 0.8 meter to 1 1 meter distance 1 is to 1 you can produce with these lenses but these lenses are costly you know uh, even the you know uh, it may go nearly a one lakh and even the unbranded uh, sigma lens itself is costing for uh, you know 45 to 60000 rupees that range uh, this uh, is, is a making of uh, glass copper you know this uh, you know this imagination was there with me 
we have long time to oh, okay i want to shoot an image like this uh, the meeting of grasshopper because plenty of image i have grasshopper meeting but it i kept in mind this is the way i want to compose it and you know i got a chance because number of attempt you will get uh, more, number of more chances to do better job and this uh, you know i think i shot with d200 uh, maybe 2000 Four or 2006, I am not exactly remembering it. And uh, this has taken with uh, 105 mm, uh, no, uh, this uh, uh, manual fo focus lenses by the Nikon made. And uh, this maybe looks like the 16, uh, no, depth of field is a 16, act number is 16. And uh, you know, generally the male and female, if you look, really look into it, fail. Female will be larger than male when they are mating position, because mating position is female. The male will be over the female, and the getting depth of field for female and male male together, it is very tough. I will tell you because it will be some ten meter, ten mm, twelve mm behind it, and getting twelve ten and ten to twelve mm depth, it is very very tough. Even if you go for the F thirty two. And F32, when you go, what happens? Everything background will will go uh, black, and it is uh, difficult to produce any good picture. And you want highlight background. The same time, you want to get a depth of field. You need, you know, uh, some of the uh, adjustment. And here, actually, that adjustment was the uh, what? The, what was the adjustment? The male and female was almost the same size for my lip. It was. It's rarely to see that. And I thought, okay, this is the time I can shoot the image. I spent more than an hour to take this image because it is it is shy. You know, this insect generally shy. When you come to friend, it will turn. You know, they never bother about. It. See, another thing, another incident. I what I want to tell you is actually I forgot to tell you when you are shooting a macro image, especially the insect, you have to select one place, and before shooting. Number of time you have to visit that. You go. Why number of time you have to visit that before taking the picture? The reason is there are some group of insect will be leaving that area. It may be different, different of insect. But your presence every day, some two three times you are going there. They never mind you. Actually. Your presence, they never really care for it. It is. This is my experience. I'm what, what I'm telling. Okay. You can take them your fan. Okay, you can take your butterfly, whatever you like. You can take them in your hand. You know, they become such a friendly because you have to make that you are not going to harm them. That confidence once they it, it comes to them, you can do a wonderful job. That is the way you have to start to it. That's what my request. Because when you are rushing it, you are you are seeing some subject, and when you are rushing it, it is difficult because they will not give you. Any pose, and they start hiding it. Uh, you know, you will not get any images. What you have to do? You stand behind uh, front of them long time. It is painful. But when you want really good imaging, that uh, painful you, you know you have to take it. There is no other way. That way, if you are doing it, definitely every one of us can do the better job. This is uh, you know grasshopper laying eggs. You know, see, generally, where they generally the grasshopper lay in the ground, and the leaf, which is folded, or the grass stem, they will inject. You know, put their you know the body inside the you know stem wherever the leaf leaf is coming. There, there will be hole. No, there there will be a gap. In that gap, they will inside their body, inside their body, and start laying egg. That's what I notice. This is only my notice, and uh, you know, I uh, you know general note uh, note in the entomology. I think it is a different fashion, but this my notice, and you can see that you know all six legs they extended for folding the leaf, and once they folded and they are safe, generally they will be laying x straight sun wherever straight sunlight is available. That's what I noticed. And once they complete the egg, egg laying, they will be stay staying there itself for a long time. 
and once that you know that placenta like uh, you know thing you can find it here which will get dried and it will stuck each other they make sure that it is stuck each other then only they will come out and another uh, the, uh, the biological feature i forgot to tell you is here in the you know making time see once they mate in generally you know after mating the male become inactive i noticed why it is becoming inactive i went uh, went through the notes i understood that uh, see after mating uh, they will not live long they will they are going to die they they are uh, actually they cannot live long that's what i understood but female case is something different because they had to take care of the you know egg laying all those things they will be living up to their egg laying afterwards once their egg laying also over they also i found actually they are also slightly inactive actually they are ready to give to the as a prey to other in, uh, other life yeah, like birds and other things and they never i saw that they, you know they are not hiding it even bird comes nearby it means they are ready to die that's what uh, the character i understood and there are many method of uh, doing photography in macro and uh, there is another method of uh, using the uh, no extension tool using the extension tool with your normal tele lens if you have some 85 mm lens and you are not able to spend so much of money because the the 100 mm 105 mm lens and lens the true macro lens are costly at least you see no minimum the, the non brand itself is a sigma tamron or such lens itself is costing 26 27000 rupees and the branded lens if you want to go if you are a nikon user if you want a nikon uh, no uh, lens to buy uh, 105 the new cost is uh, 57000 you may not be able to spend all that because you don't have any outcome in that in that case you are interested in photography and do something you you are mind is telling i want to do something like it. you can always go for the you know cheap variety of extension tubes if you have a 85 mm or 100 105 mm normal lens or if you want 135 mm 2.8 or something like normal lens you can use it the extension tube behind it extension is to what it does it see extension tube which gives the focusing distance whatever focusing distance minimum to close when you give the extension that's what it is uh, uh, ready do it when it, it is you can even the through the extension to one is to one even or two is to one and all you can take it but you should be slightly careful that careful where you supposed to care that's what i am going to tell you then next and another thing what i want to tell you is actually when you are going for an extension tube because extension tube hardly you know ordinary extension tube will cost some 1500 you know 2000 or uh, branded good branded lens is uh, uh, extension tube something like 4 4000 rupees or something like but if you go a little more extra in that you will get uh, auto focus uh, you know facility also auto uh, control facility also that means actually it has a electrical connection you can connect with, uh, with that uh, you know uh, camera body to uh, this uh, you know extension tube and extension tube to your cam uh, camera lens that means the auto function also it can work certain extent why i told a certain extent i will i, I will come to that see what exactly extension to when you are using the extension tool, adding the extension to happens the film plane that means actually the, the sensor area to the lens you are extending the length that when you are extending that length automatically the focus point get reduce it that means you are going to get to the, the enlarged image to your film plane and what exactly happening in this incident see if you are using a 12 mm extension tube one stop reduction will come the exposure that means if you are shooting in f11 f11 you shot you want shoot in f11 and kept uh, this uh, when a 12 mm um, extension tubes and everything coming in f11 this f11 actually if you want shoot in f11 you have to switch over to 8 8 is the thing effectively f apart f11 apart because 8 one stop reduction we have to give that means two 
12 mm extension reducing the one stop light reaching to the camera i think you got the point same way the extension are you hearing it hello hello friends yeah yes yes sir yes sir yes sir yes 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 hearing it okay you see yeah. it means actually see when you are using it see here you can find a 36 mm uh, no extension tool this 36 xm uh, uh, extension tool when you are using you are going to reduce see f11 if you want to keep it three stop variation comes there that three stops common session you have to give it what happened one or two two stop three stop because you may need some f11 or f16 to photograph it f16 if you do keep it f22 32 and 64 comes that means actually f11 once you keep it the effective aperture going to be f64 okay f64 you are uh, auto uh, extension to, to in none of the lens you are going, going to work it you have to do everything in manually your auto focus will not work your uh, auto uh, nothing will work that means actually this uh, the uh, you know lens and body will be acting as separate piece but if you are using the small one and you don't want higher uh, you know level of magnification you can comfortably use this for an example you you have your camera 2.8 uh, uh, now you are uh, you know canon lens is having 2.8 100 mm lens you want 2x to be used to uh, that to, because that will give you only the 1 is to 1 you want to do, do it 2 is to 1 and you don't want disturb anything even 2x converter that means 24 mm if you use it you will get actually that uh, magnification that magnification but 24 mm extension to when you are using it your 2.8 become 4 and 5.6 that means actually you are shooting in 2.8 itself but the actual value is going to be 5.6 that cut two stop correction if you can give 5.6 definitely most of the modern lens and uh, modern camera will work and that way you can gain the or can you use it plus one order also what happens the same thing to us also having the 24 mm uh, extension 50 mm extension that means you, you know uh, i'm sorry actually see what happens not 12 mm 12 mm only half stop variation 24 mm is a one, one stop variation okay that correction you please if you are noted down anywhere that correction you please do it you are hearing it no Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's not. not a, you see, what I told is 12 mm. 12 mm only half a stop. 24 mm will be the one stop variation. That means actually two two s converter when you are using it, you are going to change the two stop variation. Variation will come there. that means actually 2.8 lens if you are using it use when you are using 2s converter 2s converter will give you the double the, the uh, twice the size of image the same time because the 2s converter is having the 50 mm uh, that is actually 48 mm length uh, which will give you two stop reduction that correction you have to give it in the exposure then only you will get the correct image you got the point the same thing is applicable in this uh, here also here there is no lens piece but you can get the same you uh, know magnification when you are using the same thing same dimension now i can go for, for, uh, go to next slide no hello yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you uh, follow it i don't i don't need to uh, talk again again is it no 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 oh, okay now this is a glass opal see this is something different image is an amazing image which uh, in my life i have seen you know this is something different i will tell you it may not be very good for you to look at it something but it is a great story is there in this image you can find the glass opal which is there in nearly 6 inch length and there is a locust stay over the you know it's a piggy ride okay 
this was more than 2 hours i sat and watched and in a short uh, some 2 3 images because i just want to study what is happening like what exactly that story i am going to tell you this uh, you know locust was uh, you know eating the grass here you can find the wet portion of it this grass was eaten by this locust and this locust was alone and which was eating how they are you know i was sat in the ground and i was not i was not interested uh, intention to take any images actually i just want how they are trimming the you know leaf and how they are eating it and i just watching how they are you know piece by piece they are trimming and eating it and slowly i was looking to it sudden some chirping came i don't understand what exactly happened this uh, no uh, 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 grasshopper somewhere is flown and is stood there and this jerk what happens because that leaf is jerked and this locust was fallen down almost in the ground and another leaf which is caught and it came back in the same point i was just thinking some some drama is going to happen like i felt some drama is going to happen i just want to watch it like i sat there and looking to it and slowly that locust came to the same leaf and it never mind that it is a monster like uh, the insect is staying there and it never bother about it it's, it came to you know middle of this and came and the same point it came start eating it i really wonder actually some monster come to near to us near to human itself we immediately we will actually feel bad or we will actually you know what what supposed to do it the next step but this uh, insect never bother about it and it came and i was quite sure something something is going to happen like then it was eating the uh, thing and what happens after one or two minutes this grasshopper lifted his front leg only one leg and you know tapping its back because it is in the, it was the same direction it was eating and it start tapping its back i thought some information is going which we, we no some conversation is going on which we cannot no we cannot reach that means we have human cannot reach that frequency or communication media whatever it is i am i was quite sure that some communication is happening like it. then once it is touched it turned 160 degree 180 degree and look at its face again it, it, it you know it's very careful it's not touching in front it is touching the back side it extended its leg and touching the back side then i was quite sure some communication gone to him and he this insect slowly came to see cursor you can find it hello hello yes, yeah, yes, yes yeah yes yeah yeah this yes, say this is the area it was face to face sorry face to face and it came the underneath of it and went to the the hind hind legs climb over it and sat in the back okay then it is you know it's giving some signal including some legs it is you know one of the leg is lifting and doing something i thought some confirmation information is still given and this insect whatever is sat in the piggy drive is trying to climb over it try to climb over it this incident actually you know that their legs will be having thrown in the end two thrown will be there in the end which has touched to the the the, the eye of this insect the the huge insect immediately fraction of second at the same time it was pulled down that means hind leg it lifted and pulled him down this fellow of alan ground and very coolly it is coming up coming up and coming the same point i surprised same point and start eating the leaf again <coughs> then again he start to try trying some, some communication this fellow never minded and you know that means actually that angriness also is showing it because why do you pull down like i felt it that way and it is not minded it's not even look at him and finally after you know all this incident become more than 2 hours i sat in the ground 
and you know incidentally nobody came when a search of me or nobody came to see me other way they will feel that this mad for what he is doing in their life but all this incident i watched by the time uh, this flew away also that large insect flew away also what i want to tell you in this even though they they have they are different species we know that they are different species they have some certain level of communication with each other otherwise definitely that will not be a piggy right is it so i'm quite sure okay we'll go for the next slide this also is another incident actually see what i read about it the when the the, the insect that is a spider guarding the egg pod they never taken food like that's what i read about it they generally up to uh, the you know uh, they become a young ones they in the starving itself they continue how they can get us you know starving they can manage the reason is because even months to whether they, they can take at starving see what happens they can whenever plenty of uh, you know prey is available they take plenty of it and they are you know stomach they even bulge and bulge even five to 10 times what exactly happens this fat and proteins will kept in some corner of their stomach when it is need that will be utilized that is what i read in the you know endomology and that can be done in that fashion like yeah, that means they can starve one month, one month together but this incident actually i saw that uh, the, the mating of butterfly i just want to say, uh, i went in there by that time only i found uh, no linus fly linus spider also behind it like when they that you uh, know when they are coming it there is a say that uh, some weight is there in the top of it they can definitely identify some insect had come like immediately it is uh, took by you know catch by this uh, you know spider that means actually they may not be going for hunting but any food comes to them they will not refuse it they will take it themselves that's what uh, it's it is showing it and now the finally i want to tell you the one more river, uh, no not finally one more technique is there this reverse lens technique which is used by most of the photographers especially present youngsters are used by uh, you know reverse uh, techniques what exactly does it reverse techniques is uh, the mounting the lens in the reverse way that means actually the front area is mounted there is a mounting uh, Uh, this uh, reverse mounting adapter which can mount a thread directly to this adapter and that adapter goes to the camera body and uh, there is an aperture control ring also that aperture control ring because most of the lenses are e lenses you know all electronic lenses only electronic uh, uh, you know connected lenses only present days for that actually now manufacturers made uh, the the control of uh, aperture manual control of aperture which can fit in the the right side of the lens that right side comes to the front of the lens front of the camera and this you know many photographer used and you know i seen the wonderful images shot this with this method and you no know, many worldwide many good photography has done in using this method and most model see what you know, i seen the youngsters using it you know modern most of the modern amateur camera you know coming with 1855 mm kit lens this kit lens they are utilizing it and you know even some of the our group itself people are producing a wonderful job in that but unfortunately most of the images what i found the, the sharpness is good enough but the as you know composition they are lacking on composition techniques because they are just taking the image but it's not the present presentable manners because the, the whatever i said the, the camera is tilting and some different angle they are shooting it which can may not be you know present see the whoever knows the about the photography basic photography they cannot accept whatever 
fashion most of the young photographers are doing it they had to learn about uh, you know the composition of what, what way we had present it. the composition is very very important for photographing photo very very important composition part in generally most of the young photographers forgetting it they are just shooting it but they don't know what to do like that's what i understood that's what i'm seeing and they had to change they had to see a lot of images how they have the cloth of images taken how they they there are a lot of big big photographers famous photographers how many and all these things number of time you go through it you will get an idea you should have your own way of presentation that is all In... one second See my camera. Hello. Uh, yeah, we can, can hear, hear you, but uh, yeah, we can Hello? hear you, sir. But we couldn't see what you were trying. Okay, now you are able no, no, to no. see. It's, it's, it's... Yeah, it, 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 you. you know, what happened actually? I did not connect uh, the. Uh, you know power okay that the power almost become zero oh okay yeah so we can see the okay i i just uh, yeah we can see the camera uh, so just, we can see uh, the slide you can see the slide yes sir yes sir now now you are all right no you can see things you know hello yes yes you can hear me yes sir we can hear you can hear me Ah oh, yeah. See what happens. Actually, I did not connect the. Uh, no. Now I connected. Okay. Now, see. Use a man. See what I want to tell you is when you are going for the higher magnification, better use a, a manual focus and minimum focus when you are you are ready for the imaging. What you do? You just body, just move front and back. That means minimum focus distance. So keep it. now you what what is the next step you go behind and friend slightly yeah and whenever you are getting you felt okay the, this the place i want uh, when the sharp image i got it immediately you release the shutter that means actually you know you had you the the focus is done by your body movement itself in and out you do it and shoot the image in that time but same time you have a facility to use a tripod or monopod in which is that place you can use it you use it otherwise whatever fashion i told you make in and out movement wherever sharp image is formed you shoot that's what my opinion and uh, when now uh, i told you earlier also wherever you can possible to use uh, your tripod and monopod uh, you know for the steady uh, steady shot whenever you are able to do it please do it that's what i want to tell you because that is shot and handheld shot it is makes different mainly you may not able to do the repeated shot by handheld because there will be a changes because you cannot uh, keep the same position exactly same position number of time shooting time every shot you can find it there is a some difference one shot to other when you are handheld shot but in the tripod or monopod support same thing you can copy in a number of time that is the reason i am telling whenever you can utilize it that means when you are going for macro photography work carry a tripod or monopod is a more easily to carry Which you carry with you. Now I am showing a uh, no image of a butter, a butterfly. Is it is actually is a I put as a caption as a camouflage the capture. You can find 
what is the insect? The, the insect is actually praying mantis, hot butterfly. The praying mantis is exactly the plant, exactly like plant only, because no insect can identify there is a prime, there is an enemy sitting behind it, sitting the, under the flower. This butterfly came to nectar the same fraction of a second caught by this, uh, you know, um, uh, this prime mantis. And, uh, you know, prime mantis, the way of the, they are eating, the not time it will be treated. And they s simply you know, trim the wings and take the body totally. You know, you might be noticed also. I think I am, uh, you are hearing it, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> because I want to make sure that is the reason. <laughs> okay, now I, I, I went for uh, no, another uh, image. You know, the, this uh, also having the small story. I, let me tell you. This is a morning shot. I saw that there was something like some five to six meters away because I did not open, uh, remove the camera from the back. The bag is there, my shoulder, and I saw the one lemon butterfly is taking sun bath, and I want to shoot it because it's a very good in color, everything fine in that, and there is no uh, crippling the you know even the the wing is uh, intact. It may be the new butterfly, and uh, you know as soon as I see, I just kept my you know this. Uh, Bag down and remove my camera and kept it, keep it in the shoulder. And you include in the, my bag, I kept it in the shoulder. And look at it. This uh, insert, you know, butterfly shave you know, upside down. I really wonder how that is happened up, up, upside down. Slowly I went nearby. I saw that one crab, crab spider caught this butterfly. You can find the crab spider, very small crab spider caught this butterfly that means actually cribe uh, you know this uh, spiders are such capable you know they have that strength to keep such a large uh, you know uh, uh, butterfly and you know it it, it 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 was flapping badly and you know how such a small insect can even arrest uh, the all motion and you know within two minutes uh, it, it dies because if the the you know the, the venom injection takes one or two minutes to paralyze and it, it, it will die and more easy easy for them to have it and see my suggestion when you are going for uh, you know mahot photography you take plenty of shot the reason when you see most of the time you will be handheld in it handheld i told you the composition and the positioning of uh, image Everything one snap to other snap, it will go to vary. You cannot make a constant image, even to one picture to other picture in handheld shot in macro photography. It is highly tough, and that is the reason you make plenty of shot. The image is good. You can project somewhere. You feel that it is a good image. Definitely, you don't make a thing any confusion a number of. You take a number of pictures and make sure that you got the best. The advantage is taking the number of pictures, select the composition, you can select the composition, you can see the depth of field of the you know, sharpness of the image. And not only that, all this number of image, you can select, you, you have a facility to select. That means even 15, 20 images that the same subject, you can select. You may able to select one, not in two, is my experience. Because all technical thing, if you really look into it, you may be able to select only one. But the same time, if you are using the tripod, it's not really so. At least 10 snaps, 5 snaps you can select. That's the reason I was trusting you. Use a tripod or monopod wherever you can utilize it. Okay. Now, uh, I think almost all the area I covered and say that I am talking about the conclusion about this. This. See what we have to do. The best thing, the uh, you had to do. You had to try and try and try number of time. And once you do that number of time try, definitely you will reach somewhere. You feel the confident. Okay, I can do that. 
and another thing i want to tell you is actually the finding the subject finding subject also is very important for the photographer macro photographer in generally when you start with you may not be able to see anything there are thousands and the course and course of insects surrounding us but still the locating one you feel the difficulties that means you are i you are trained for seeing things that is not that easy continuously you have to go to the area the site where you are planning to take image number of time when you go you can find one by one it is protruding out and uh, yeah whatever the which subject you are interested slowly you start doing it and all this insect become friendly to you and they never bother because number of time you are visiting it, it they never bother your presence that's my experience that way should be the your approach and uh, you know you don't feel any shy to ask anyone to anything whatever you are gaining it if you gaining it ask questions and get things done and no photographers i will tell you in the earth totally they are right nothing nothing like that whatever you feel right you do it only thing final product is important what way you produce an right final product you can do your own way but there are basic concept which the composition and colors and all those things should be perfect enough to present now i think this uh, uh, no in another suggestion what i want to tell you is actually when you want you you are uh, want to take a, you know you are interested in macro photography i feel you start with uh, extension tubes or the close up lens use that and try yourself and train yourself and once it comes to your hand okay you can do the better job because the reason is don't spend more money for the macro lens because macro lenses are costly once you feel okay this subject uh, is making me happy and it is good for me then you go for the true macro lens not the inverted imaging inverted and you know close up all these are all actually is not really giving you, your original image original image original thing you have to show with the macro lens only and you have to use a macro lens only that's what my suggestion and i is not i am not condemn all this method whatever you have it you do the best when it is coming the contrast in the group of contrast you will come to know the difference oh my i thought my image is great but i cannot compare with this one side image i think you got all the point in this any question is there because there are some few more uh, image i want show some few more uh, explanation i want to give it in this up to this episode whether you have any doubt you please come uh, talk to me yeah, i think like uh, uh, a few questions uh, we can uh, you can yeah, unmute yeah, and ask right people can okay. unmute and ask one by one okay yeah well there's a one more presentation i think i don't I, i will not clear that okay only the the the, the way it is to be present for scientific and the what way it is to be utilized that i will explain okay Okay, you can ask questions. Sir, I have one, I have one question. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, somebody has gifted me a, a, a Nikon D, a D lens, one not five. Okay. How's lens? Nikon D lens, actually, the the old version of D lens. Yes. The old manual focus. A D lens, a auto focus. There are two lens. The old version, auto focus is there. Actually, manual focus is there. Manual focus. Manual focus. Okay. Tell me. No, is it a, 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 is it a good lens to? It start? is an excellent lens. Only thing, modern facility is not available with that. Otherwise, they are true lens, and you can produce any modern lens which is presently available. The same thing you can produce with that. Only the thing, the the autofocus facility and the aperture priority and the all all aperture priority in the camera it will be available. You can select the aperture and uh, that you can use it. Uh, that uh, only thing the auto focus facility you will use it. all other things remaining same there will not be any difference the the final result device uh, you cannot make any difference you are clear yeah 
Sir, is Macrolanx available for uh, Nikon Z6 uh, model? No, it had to come. I think they are going for the when a set model, I think, you know, it, it, it's supposed to come actually the new, uh, no, new this new year, uh, January itself. And now because of the corona problem, actually the, the production is going on. It may, you can expect any time 105 mm lens, but it is going to be more than 1 lakh rupees. So can I use uh, some other uh, lens uh, with uh, this adapter? Yeah, with the adapter, this uh, present lens, uh, Nikon lens, which is available in the market, ma you can use it. Absolutely, because they are climbing, there will not be any difference. I think the result also, the people who has used, uh, there is no uh, difficulties. Okay, sir. Thanks. Thank you. So, so is there any difference between the Tamron 90mm and Nikon 105, both autofocus? See, 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 one thing, a simple, a simple thing I will tell you. See, they have, Tamron is manufactured 90mm. They are not manufacturing 105mm. Okay, Tamron lens is going to cost you something like 24, 26,000 rupees. The 100 mm lens. Tamron uh, autofocus is 40,000. Okay, the, well, see, autofocus, both are autofocus, it will focus. The, what I want to tell you is this actually. See, Nikon lens is going to cost you 105 mm. The latest lens, latest lens means it's already 10, 9 years old. Okay, the present lens already 9 to 10 years old. And now they are going to come with the latest version. It will take time. I believe, it, I felt in the middle of this year it comes, but it is it is going to come only the next year. But you know, uh, uh, that lens is costing you presently 57,000. Okay. The cost wise, not only the cost wise, quality wise also, when you really look into it, there is a difference. You understand? See, it's, it's not, I, I not mean that actually it cannot go for the professional group. It can go for professional group, but it is lacking certain quality in final result. You got the point? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I got it, sir. You got it. You see, the, 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 if it is equal, equal value, how it can be, you know, half of the price? It can be. <laughs> Yeah, anything else? Hello? I can go with this, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, this I think person. like, uh, yeah, so now we are almost yeah. like, uh, yeah, there's a question. Yeah, okay. I think no question. So, so I think like, uh, 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 if there are no more questions, like you can just uh, go through the oh, slide. Okay. And, uh, I will say this is grind, actually grind this is a presentation. I am just uh, representing it. It is 10 years back, actually, you know, uh, uh, National Conference, National Aero, uh, Aerospace, uh, 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 National Conference, uh, MIB National Conference. That means MIB means micro air vehicle uh, presentation. Uh, and I presented uh, that all, all in the conference. I present this uh, paper. Uh, 10 years back. I just want to show uh, that actually the which way, which way we can utilize these images and uh, you will have an idea that actually whoever working in that field and whoever like to work in that field, what type of image and where and all we have to really look at. Okay. And this is the uh, presentation I made 10 years back and this I am talking about the flight of dragonfly. Okay. See, in this, I, you know, in condensed introduction, I have no, uh, anatomy of dragonfly, basic of dragonfly, crew is gliding, takeoff and landing, typical maneuvering techniques and conclusion. This only take 15 minutes. You may have to sit 15 more minutes. It's okay, no? Uh, I think like we can wrap in five minutes because uh, it's, all, it's all, I mean, like people may want to leave, right? So. All right. Okay, I just uh, then I will just run. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and and this there is one uh, there is one uh, question, and that may be like uh, I don't know. The question is like uh, how can we sell the image? Uh, I think like that itself is a big topic. Yeah, yeah, it's a big topic. We <laughs> had to really see. We had to make a, a, a no uh, this uh, uh, no image bank, and uh, somebody come to come forward to make an image bank and. Uh, and some uh, the, some organization has to be start, and that image has to be keep in the bank, and that they have to 
you know short to the internet this is these are the images available right? and worldwide people comes to you that's what the getty image and all making money okay same way you uh, know now we people also even one hundred photographer we join together make an organization they can do it anyway that portion is a big area and okay. the, the business people able to tell more about it because yeah, i am not a that, business yeah. that we can have another <laughs> another talk on that okay yeah. this is a dragonfly you can see the 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 abdomen segments is uh, abdomen is a uh, ten segments and hind wing and fore wing uh, two hind wing and top two fore wing and you can find uh, there is a i think i can skip because these are all scientific thing. yeah yes yes yeah just, okay yeah. because yeah. i had to explain so many the, this point i would say the, there is a prostigma you can find it and there all four wings there is a colorful area all when uh, they can fly you can find it uh, there is a col colorful region that area is called prostigma and the, what exactly does it that help the insect to fly in a better fashion it will produce a cortex and that vortex will make insect to go forward okay that is what because that material is something more rubber uh, uh, rubberized and it can be elastic elastic facilities available that uh, helping for them to fly in a better fashion okay this okay the antenna compound eyes and cyplipus all those things anyway these things another occasion i will explain to you this is a front view of uh, insect and this is a compound of uh, dragonfly compound eye you know that uh, actually there are 3330 individual uh, photocells in each eyes 3330 30 individual photocell in individual eyes and each uh, the how they you know get the image each portion of cell produce the portion of image all those things and overlap and you know which is sent to the brain and brain will identify what exactly like that means almost 300 almost 270 degree they can look at it they can see at a time anyway lot of science is there we'll see later okay this is the you know this the hemisphere there you know is a mounted on either side two hemisphere almost 270 degree they can cover it and their legs you know something like three joint legs you know they can they are they designed for capturing their prey and handling the prey or those thing but they cannot walk or they cannot fly because they are restricted to only for their existence purpose they had to handle the prey they had to perch one place and this is the restriction for them their movements anyway that too. Uh, this is a aerial predator i written i know when they are in hungry you can see their legs are ready they are capturing they are ready for uh, capturing the insect they are, when they are hungry they keeps everything ready for capture and they have a carnivorous uh, character also that means actually they eat their own uh, species and that's the reason the, they are called even carnivorous and the mating you know you must be seen uh, you know, everywhere the mating actually the mating as soon as they come from the pupa they will not hunting or anything their process is a mating is the first okay that uh, you know for existing their you uh, know uh, their uh, you know live, uh, life for them uh, keeping their next generation our way they will be killed by someone and 1000 will be there the 1000 will not be able to aglight only one or two only will be able to aglight because there are a lot of predator for them that means few of them has to be left over for maintaining their generation this actually called you know there are a lot of things to explain to you this actually this is actually i you know rot as a you know this uh, Oh, oh, that aerofoil because i forget the you know each wing is an aerofoil and you know and because of the shape they are able to fly very better way and you know they can catch uh, you know they can follow it they are uh, you know prey and uh, 
follow behind them and they can catch easily and because they have that called quality of flight techniques in their hand and this is a stalking when they are stalking the friend uh, you know once the friend wings go up and the rear wing comes down and it will it will loosen the muscle and comes down again it will uh, tighten the muscle the rear wing and loosen the front muscles and it will comes down that's the way they are stalking and going for going friend and this is a hovering the hovering also is a different technique they use it hovering generally they use a certain uh, certain times generally they are finding you know the food or they want to visualize surrounding that time they will they will stay one place it is called hovering and what how hovering can be achieved the front wing will be flapping and the same opposite direction the hind wing will be flapping that means whatever frequency positive frequency produced by the front wings the native frequency will be produced by the hind wing that means all native and positive become zero the the insect remaining the same position this is called cruise because they can without flapping itself they can fly in uh, not 10 meter second 10 meter per second and they are good enough you can see the shape of that just a aerofoil shape which is aerodynamically aerodynamically designed their bodies so gliding generally you know when they are flapping for you know, a long time they used to glide that gliding time actually that wind the wind direction even the wind direction opposite wind direction they can glide because they will use their wing in a different position to come out that and they have that quality to do that that is the reason for mav micro air vehicle this was my suggestion you can go for it like the take off the the insect is getting take off you can see that first they will push their body outside and uh, you know uh, their wing will, will be expanded properly and you can find their back uh, you know body the body is actually giving the pressure to come out come out from that place that is the action this is the landing the, this landing is a normal landing Uh, that means actually you know any aircraft will land in the that is actually on already decided where to land that planned landing only this types of landing they does it they already planned where to land and glide and land so well, there will not be any friction smooth very smooth landing they will do it. here you can see the very short distance also they can land you see the wing position the this wing position and this wing position you they tilt 90 degree taking maximum drag to reduce the speed and sudden break it can come and it can very short distances sir they can perch here actually you can find the four wing flying two pair of pair of four wing which is flapping here pair of hind wing is flapping here three wing is getting flapped and one single wing is not flapping and here only single wing is flapping and all three wing is high uh, no, no movements it means what actually they are capable of controlling each single wing in a coordinated fashion whatever fashion they can, they want to fly that means the maneuver capability for them using these types of combination that's what i want to test that's what i want to this conclusion this photo was help to understand rank fly fly provide inspiration in and maybe yeah, okay you can walk, uh, you know read out this is the conclusion i think uh, no yeah, yeah. i want tell some more, more thing about it i i, I think this is enough is it, yeah is it so <laughs> oh, no but it is it's very good sir oh. thank you very much uh, and if oh. there are any co more questions for another 2 minutes like we can uh, do that otherwise yeah yeah i can i can i can spend this not If any question is there, you can put on me, and uh, yeah, and uh, and you can tell your email ID also, like if anybody wants to send them. Yeah, yeah, that I can send you. There is no problem. Okay. I say my email ID is b r takkan babu rajan takkan. Actually, b r takkan at gmail dot com or uh, yahoo dot. Uh, okay, there is a question. Uh, yeah. I think like uh, uh, yeah, so you can you can actually unmute and ask. Uh, 
uh, Agnes. No, that's what I see. Uh, yeah, the question. Actually, yeah. Actually, the question is regarding Rhinox DX uh, DR250. That is the adapter used in front of macro lenses. So, okay, no. ask me about the opinion about the Rhinox DCR. Uh, see, you see that that lens is not a single lens. What I understood is a sandwich lens. Actually, they they are corrected maximum automatic filter, aggression filter. Which you can use it in front of because that is going to give you the uh, reproduction of uh, I think six x up to six x it can go. Is it so? Hello. Yeah, it can go up to six x. I feel it is. Uh, it can go up to six x. Uh, that you can use it. I don't say it cannot use it. But if you are using with bellow, with the macro lens, and you going for the six x, and you compare this with the six x. It will be portion of difference. When you compare it, what I am telling you, when you are comparing it, if you use a bellows and uh, use a 50 uh, 55 mm uh, no, one to one lens in front of it and use that, get that magnification, whatever result you are going to get with bellows and whatever you are going to get this uh, uh, lens which is mounted in front. There is a big difference when you compare it. Okay. When you are looking at uh, they say only only one image, you feel it is great. But when you compare it to other lens, other result, you find the difference. You got the point. I feel it is good enough. But if you want really do this, see, it is like this. See, uh, you brought the uh, three thousand two hundred. Same time you brought uh, you know, D, D, uh, this uh, D5, D5 also. Okay. The both, both are giving the same uh, you know, pixel. But can you compare the same, pixel, same result with the same uh, camera? It's not. Is it? Both are giving, going to give you a 10 megapixel and the same result can you match it? It will be ocean of difference. Then why do you spend four lakhs rupees and here you know fifty thousand you know, less than fifty thousand rupees you will get it. if they are full to sell you got the point that types of difference okay hello yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we can wind up right yeah just nine o'clock uh, Harish will answer. It's yeah. in the group. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I, we, we close it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. If any any doubt is there, yeah, you can yeah. send a okay. mail or you can send you know, your telephone or you can send a mail with the telephone number. I can talk to you then. Or, or, or over in the group can ask question in the group also tagging Barbara. Yeah, yeah, there's a <laughs> there. Yeah. yeah. I think my presentation is okay. Yeah, yeah, it was it was great, sir. So <laughs> in, in between there were hiccups, but it's it is it was wonderful. Okay. Oh. So excellent and extensive presentation, sir. The photos were excellent, and the way you have uh, the uh, told about the story behind that was also very uh, thought provoking. Yeah, that also so, is very important, you know, because yeah, yes. when we are shooting it, you know, every every picture should say some story about it. That is what the success. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you. Sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.